When clips are added to the timeline, we can trim, split, or move them around on the timeline. I'm going to switch the media view up here to All Clips. And again drag in the first clip from the St. Lucia event with the kayakers. Notice that despite the clip already being marked, part of it rejected and part of it favorited, the entire clip is added to the timeline when I drag it in while using the All Clips view. There are a couple ways I could now trim this down to be just about the same as the favorited area. First, we can just click and drag on the clip's front edge and pull in. I'll go to just about where the kayakers come together and start paddling. Then from the back end of the clip, pull in to where they start going further away from the camera. Notice up in the viewer, we have an orange mark signifying the area of this clip used in the timeline. So if you don't pre-mark clips before bringing them into a project, like we did a few lessons ago for these clips, you can still quickly trim them down when added to the timeline. Another way to trim here on the timeline is to use the same method that we used in the media viewer. Scrub to where you want the clip to begin and hit the I key for endpoint. And then scrub to the spot you want the clip to end and hit O for out point. We can then right click and choose trim selection or use the shortcut option forward slash to trim. One other way to trim is to scrub to the endpoint that you want, hold down the R key, and drag to the endpoint that you want. Then trim. We can also quickly trim a clip to the playhead. So if I just wanted to take off the back end of this clip, say from here over, I just need to set the playhead by clicking on the clip. Notice as I scrub now that this gray line lets me know where the playhead is set to. Then right click here and trim to playhead or use the same option forward slash shortcut. Next we're going to split a clip. Splitting clips can be great for adding a speed change or a filter to part of a clip. To split, just click to set the playhead where you want the split to occur, and then right click and choose Split Clip, or hit Command B. We now have two separate clips, so I could click and drag to move the front part to the end of the movie, or maybe to the very beginning. We could also bring in another clip and place it between the one I split. I'm going to undo that though, and actually split this clip one more time. Leaving us with three clips. Then with this center clip, right click and choose Show Speed Editor. This can also be done with the shortcut Command R. Now just click and drag on the handle in the black bar that appears on the clip. Drag left to make it play back faster, or drag right to slow it down. I'm going to drag right and just about double the length of the clip, which will mean it plays back at half speed. Now we can play back all three clips together to see the slow motion effect. Trimming, splitting, and moving clips is how you're going to do much of your editing in the iMovie timeline. Next, we're going to look at adding photos, or still images, to the timeline.